up guys? I'm doing a little bit. Check it out. A little bit of a history hike here today. I'm hiking on the old M and N A um, railroad line alongside the majestic Buffalo River. Absolutely beautiful. Oh look, a little bit of a rock fall here. Um, this is the old uh, well, we're walking on the right of way, the abandoned right of way. And going down here to, well, going to do some fishing. And exploring for history stuff. Because I'm a nerd like that. You can see the buffalo way on down there. You can see pretty good 30, 40 foot tall bluff face here. A cut where the railroad would have been. You can see... It is a beautiful little hike. It's not a very big hike. It's only about three mile hike. So a lot of a lot of good scenery though so far. Okay, here, for example, there's still some stuff left along the trail. This would have been drainage piping for something. Well, drainage. Ostensibly, the M and N A quit functions in 46 or 48. So we're well over 70 years since a train ever passed right down this right of way. So any artifacts we find will be 75 plus years old and hadn't seen usage since the mid to late 1940s. And this is, this is really beautiful, check it. Yeah, this is very cool. I'm excited to get down to the river because when we get to the river, what you're gonna see is a couple of enormous bridge piers out in the middle of the river that have been there since, well, I'd say what, 1901, 1902 is when it was built originally. And some 15 years ago, when I was still stupid because I was young, young man um, on an overnight float down this beautiful river, camped right below them on the gravel bar. Thank God we didn't drown that night. Um, Never a good idea to camp on the gravel bar. Of course, everyone does it. No one ever learns their lesson. They just lose all their things and occasionally their life, whatever. But they're enormous piers. They're very, very cool. And I'm excited to see them again today, some 15 years later. All right, this is pretty cool. You can see the rock wall where we're having to diverge now and go down and around because they had pulled the bridges out whenever this came out. But you can see the rock wall, the retaining wall along the ridge there. And you can see where at the very end, well, we'll see it better when we get down there, I'm sure. Okay, you can see from down here, the retaining wall that helped to hold it up. And there would have been some kind of, obviously, a truss right across the gap. It's a pretty good gap. But you can see here, well, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe the culvert was all that it was. And the rest of it has washed out. But check this out. This is a hundred and what twenty one year old stack stone culvert. Be something of that age. It's filled in with dirt. How cool, man! Yeah, I'm a nerd. It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> and what it would have been probably is just a dirt bank fill. Oh wait, nope, nope. There's more. Yeah, you can see where there would have been see the bridge pilings some bridge pilings over there so it would have been probably a truss not a truss um, yeah there's some more bridge pilings right in there but a trestle not a truss a truss bridge it's pretty pretty deep a little gulch though i guess I guess that this stack stone culvert would have just been like additional drainage help, something like that. Everything I just said is probably total bull. Trail gets a little bit narrower. It's a little bit rougher back here. I don't think it's a super well used trail. It's well used enough, I guess, to have a little bit of a footpath, but I don't think it's a. Super popular one. No waterfalls or anything at the end to explore, really. Man, you gotta think, this is right in the middle 
this giant boulder is right in the middle of what would have been the right of way. So I'm assuming that's fallen off in the last 75 years. That's pretty interesting to think about. <clears throat> you can see, in a way, see geology happening. Look where it came from. A big old gap right there in the side. I guess the camera doesn't really show that very well. Oh yeah, check this out. This is alongside the bluff, or the trail. Oh look, culvert. There's one of the culverts, look at this. It's built right on top of the bedrock. Look at that, how cool. So there's the railroad grade, running long ways. Came down and right here on top of this shelf, this bedrock, they laid the culvert. And what's crazy, I'm gonna get too close here and collapse the top. You can still go, you could go right there. How oh, cool, but then look. <laughs> Going down there a minute. Look at that. And then it goes on down to the river. Wow. Alright. So now I'm gonna walk over here to the bluff over the river. Oh yeah. Yeah. The mighty buffalo. Woo! Holy heck, yep. It's even undercut. That, there is absolutely a reason we love the buffalo here. Got pretty good flow. We're mid river right now, upper river. I mean, it's kind of low, but there's pretty good flow. Holy crap, this is so cool! This is a really cool hike, and we're gonna be getting close to the piers. We're over half the hike in. So hopefully we'll get there pretty quick. This is incredible. Look at this. Okay, we finally made it to the end of the river trail. We're working our way down, hopefully, to the piers in the river right now. Well, it's steep as heck down here. Like, the other side was straight down probably 70 or 80 feet. Creek walk coming into the river over there. Pretty interesting. Well, you can see the first enormous pier right here. How cool is that? The trail's dropping down underneath. We can make it back down to the river here in just a second, hopefully. You can see the first pier, and then here we go. Is this not so cool? It's been since 2008, guys, and I camped back in 2008 right right about here in this part of the bank how interesting the river hasn't really changed of course since then which 15 years you could expect they move back and forth quite a bit oh this is so cool you can see it right underneath it far up there on the did well can barely see it from here you can see the other abutment Come over here. See that one. It's very cool, guys. It's very cool. Um, gotten a few nibbles here. A couple of smallmouth, but haven't brought one in yet. These babies. However, the water's so clear. I can see a larger one feeding. Um, let's gotta figure out what he wants to eat. But uh, very, very nice day out here. All right, we are working our way out. It is a super cool hike, y'all. It really is. It's not super, uh, I mean, lots of it are like this, pretty good trail, but then there's some places that are pretty, a little bit gnarly, and I have got ticks crawling everywhere, off and on. So, but it's really cool. It's a really cool hike. Um, and you can see how pretty it is. Like, this is really nice right now. It's getting later in the day, and we're making our way out. And, uh, yeah, look how far down. I mean, you can't really see the whole perspective camera thing, but that's got to be, that's got to be, you know, a good 25, 30 feet just right here. And there are places we've seen that were way steeper. This is really cool. 
no idea what this is, but it's at the very front. Should have filmed this earlier. Very beginning of the hike down the rail trail out of Gilbert here. So uh, clearly something though related to the rail line. It's pretty cool, but we're wrapping up here now. Well, we are back at the end of the line here. Basically four mile hike, two in, two out. Gain about 200 feet of elevation. It's not too bad of a hike at all. Um, lots of ticks, um, but a lot of history too. You guys have seen most of it in the video, so it's super cool. I'm glad I came out and did this today. I'm glad I finally did it on the actual trail. Um, and yeah, you guys need to get out here and do it too. If you enjoyed the video, please like, please subscribe, please share. And um, if you listen to podcasts, go listen to the Wayward Stories podcast anywhere you find podcasts because I talk about doing stuff like this pretty much all the time. Anyway, we'll catch you guys next time.